What's up? It's uh, January 2nd, 2022, and it's freezing cold. It's kind of nice. So I want to share a little story today. Um, a couple days ago, New Year's Eve, I was posting a bunch of pictures and throwbacks uh, kind of over the last five years, but mainly construction related, uh, just to kind of celebrate five years in the new uh, Miller Smokehouse location, new, five years old now. And um, once I got to... Uh, December 15th on my Google Photos, um, you know, all these pictures and videos of newborn uh, baby Mercer popped up. And um, so yeah, I was gonna tell you a little story about um, the birth of Mercer and kind of some lessons through it. So that week, that month was like extremely stressful. I mean, we were broke. Like we were definitely over budget and out of money uh, building the new Millers. Uh, extended ourselves as far as we possibly could. Uh, but we had faith that you know it was going to work out, and this was the right thing for our community at, at that moment. And um, and the couple days leading up to Mercer were like really stressful. And I remember like you know we just hadn't slept, um, had like ulcers. Like I, st- I mean, I was just really stressed, and I really it was just tough. And um, I mean, the morning of like the neighbor called the cops because we had. Um, somebody parking in public parking and uh it turned into kind of like a weird little conflict and and just just there was layers upon layers of added stress and um and so anyways you know that night we go to the hospital 10 o'clock to get induced uh mercer comes out in the morning um he's awesome kate's awesome it was just like a beautiful moment i turned my phone on to check it and had an email from the bank saying like hey there's been a little issue with the deed of trust with your um you know, with, with with your building, there's, there was an issue with it, and everything's gonna be okay. But we cannot uh, give you the funds we told you we were gonna give you right now. Um, once we get that resolved, it'll be okay, which would normally be fine, except for I had written a bunch of checks before heading to the hospital that were now not going to clear. And it was just such a a stressful kind of like low point. I mean, I just was like, you know, just had a baby, and I just, I just. Told Kate, I was like, I gotta go. And, and so I drove and I remember I met my dad in the in the city parking lot just to the south of Miller's and I was like, hey, so here's the deal. Everything will be okay. But if you have any money, I need it right now. And at that moment, my family did not have any extra money, but we took all we could and, and, and moved things around and transferred what we could to try and cover as many checks as we could. Um, and the bank did come through and did help us. They were very kind. Uh, but that was like, you know, my family has had financial struggles. But that was like a clear moment of like, we are we are out of money. And um, there was all this pressure that like, this, this thing's got to really work. Um, and so I think that there's... A lot of people have financial struggles. A lot of people have been broke, but also there's like, a lot of people don't take the time to appreciate kind of the the growth that happens and the benefits of like having those very specific moments to look back on of like, man, that was like a baseline, like financially and stress-wise of like, you know, almost like a rock bottom, but, but really a, a really beautiful experience when you think back on it. And so, you know, when we built Miller's, we didn't we didn't know what we were doing. Um, we had never built uh, a restaurant before. We Craigslisted the last one together. I mean, it was all used equipment and just one tiny little remodel and expansion at a time. But to be able to look back and reflect on like, man, it's been five years, which, which is kind of a long time, but it happened in a blink. And, and, you know, we moved because we knew we needed to and it felt like the right thing to do. Did we have the money to finish that restaurant? No. Did did we do something like crazy? Yeah, absolutely. But it all worked out. And I'm just super thankful to be able to look back and remember and reflect on when we were, you know, 90% done with construction, way over budget, way out of money. And then it just seemed like one thing after another. Um, and after it opened, you know, we've, we spent years just really just paying back um, those overages and, and equipment loans and, and, and everything else. And um, 
now that things are kind of evolving and we're looking into the future and doing kind of our strategic, like what's our plan? What are our, what's our 10 year vision? It's so great to just take a moment and just be thankful that, you know, so many members of that team that, that lived through that are still here. And it's just a, it was just a beautiful experience. So yeah, if you're going through something, if you're building a business or growing something and, and, um, and you have a really tough experience or you just run out of money and have to get creative. It's super stressful, but if it works out, it's such a great thing to look back on for years and just giggle. Um, because it just ended up being a really, just a great part of the story.